Welcome back to Paragon Ops, where we speak about Call of Duty Mobile. In today's video we'll cover Reaper's narrative and life in the COD Mobile universe. Hey there, the Season 4 Veiled Uprising update for COD Mobile is available now. I feel like the Iron Will AI controlled Reaper program of the Atlas Corporation, which is the brain of Sector A, seems to be gaining control at this time. The new, aging AI uprising. What do you think? This video is made with the help of the Call of Duty Wiki. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video. Now, let's get into the video. Let's start from creation. Reaper, also known as the Experimental War Robot 115, EWR 115, is a specialist who appears in Call of Duty, Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, as well as Call of Duty, Heroes and Call of Duty, Mobile. The Coalescence Corporation created and produced the battle robot Reaper. Keith Silverstein is the voice actor of Reaper. Later in the COD Mobile comics we see that Reaper is used by the Atlas Corporation. Before its Black Ops 4 variant was introduced to multiplayer in Operation Apocalypse C, its Black Ops 3 design made an appearance as a playable character in Blackout during Operation Absolute Zero as part of the Black Ops Pass. Biography The product of a cutting-edge military R&D project to supplement special operations soldiers in the field, Experimental War Robot 115 was one of a single unit of advanced prototype combat robots running the most sophisticated AI software ever seen. After several politically embarrassing mishaps and budget overruns, the project was cancelled and most of the prototypes were stripped for parts. Fate had other plans for EWR-115, when years later it was discovered to have been stolen. Reports of sightings of the terrible machine on battlefields around the world began to surface. No one knows why it fights or who, if anyone, is issuing its orders. Prophet claims that Reaper has symptoms of sentience. Sentience is the capacity of a being to experience feelings and sensations. Reaper was discovered to have approximately 640,000 file modifications made by Reaper itself, which lends credibility to this. Additionally, it exhibits some emotion, such as rage and satisfaction. Reaper is also described by Prophet as being organic in some sense, raising the possibility that it is sentient. Prophet uncovered multiple aftermarket modifications that sent Reaper directives from an unidentified source during a diagnostic run. Reaper felt compelled to follow the instructions because they were coming from an administration. This coding was deleted by Prophet from Reaper, and he discovered Zurich as its origin. Soon after, it was discovered that the people who stole and modified Reaper were also conducting an illegal gambling operation that paid out and placed huge bets on how many people the machine would kill. Reaper went to the ring in search of retribution. Due to Prophet's removal of the captor's coding, the ring leaders tried to shut down the machine but were unable. Reaper then killed the ring members and broke free from their control. Reaper rarely, if ever, converses with other experts because of his robotic nature. Despite this, he appears to be respected and derided by other experts. Reaper appears to be admired by both Spectre and Prophet, but Outrider expresses disgust. The Call of Duty, Black Ops 4 comic features Reaper. Reaper is seen in Prophet's comic as working at Iron Town under the name Rabbit and handling scrap metal while sporting a modified appearance. Might I say that Reaper looks so cute. Reaper awakens and exacts retribution on everyone in Iron Town after starting an uplink with Prophet. Call of Duty Mobile Reaper was added to Call of Duty Mobile around May 2020, this skin included Reaper's base model. Later, on October 14, 2020, Reaper was featured in the Season 11 COD Mobile First Anniversary Battle Pass with the Reaper Premium skin. Here are some more Reaper-themed lucky draws.
The Ashura skin for Reaper debuted during Season 7, Elite of the Elite was created in collaboration with Shichi Kawamori, founder of the Macross franchise and designer of the original Transformers matches. Reaper is a combat robot frequently used by Atlas Corporation, Alias said this in her conversation with Ether. Following the Atlas ascension, numerous people are on trial, and the UN is investigating possible war crimes against them. The director meets with Dark Shepherd in New Vision City, and they confer with the Iron Will, an AI constructed by Division A, to discuss how they would deal with Stitch in Central Asia. Later, the director meets with the Kurohana Corporation to discuss how to make a comeback. Now that the Kurohana Corporation own 5% of Atlas, they are no longer adversaries but family. They then instruct the director to give them everything they know about the Iron Will AI so that they can assist Atlas in regaining its position as Earth's largest corporation. I believe the director and the Kurohana Corporation intended to rise from the ashes. They intend to start an AI revolt by changing the Reaper's program with the help of the Iron Will. Let me state firmly that the new Reaper skin in Season 4 is one of the best Battle Pass skins to date. Just look at him. This skin could have been in a lucky draw, and the lucky draw's name could have been AI Uprising, just a wild guess. I'm sure they drew inspiration for this robot apocalypse theme from films like Uprising, The Terminator Trilogy, iRobot, and many more. It can be frightening at times, from the traditional chrome exoskeleton to the piercing red eyes that bore into your soul. As always, the design team for the villains earns a 10 tenths. If you're interested in villains, please check out my villains series. So that's what the upcoming Veiled Uprising Season 4 is all about. This is one of the best skins in my view. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts on the new Reaper skin slash are you going to get it? Sub to the channel for more COD Mobile videos. See you in the next one.